What the fuck's up, assholes? It's your boy, Uncle Bukas, back again. Got a little bit of change of environment. It's a new series I like to call Truck Rants. And who are we going to be talking about today? Oh, boy, do we have a special one. The most annoying fucking person ever, Mr. Jeff Kiesel. Call my guys. 858 Guitars, call my guys. So what did Jeff do this time? Well, lately there's been this giant fucking controversy. Well, let's let's back up a little bit. Kiesel's always been garbage, okay? Ever since they changed from the name Carvin and Jeff stole the company away from his other side of the family, the side of the family that actually made money, you know, the audio side, when he split up the company, he's like, I'm taking the company and doing my own thing. Look at me. I guess Jeff's German. Now, look at me. I'm a German. I'm a Jeff Kiesel. Yeah, fuck you. Ever since he stole the company away, the company's gone downhill. Bad. Been trying to tell your motherfuckers for years. Stop buying Kiesel. They're garbage. Stop buying Kiesel. But no, you motherfuckers just had to keep buying them. Oh, dude, the finishes are sick, bro. Fini no. Have you seen these fucking finishes on these Kiesels? They're garbage. You should stop buying them based on that. You really want a fucking jizz burst guitar? Let you know a little secret. What do you think a secret ingredient to jizz burst guitar is, hmm? You think it's time? Think it's cumin? No! It's fucking Jeff's jizz! Recently, it's come to light that Jeff fucked up again, majorly. So recently, Kiesel just started doing roasted guitars. Boom, roasted. You know, roasted roasted guitars are some of my fucking favorites. You know, like Music Man guitars. Oh, dude, the roast so nice, dude. So nice, man. Uh, they're really great, you know. Music Man does it great, but this is Jeff fucking Kiesel. The guy, the guy can't even make a guitar without a fucking fret popping out. He can't even fulfill proper orders when people order guitars. But no, you motherfuckers want to keep ordering shit from him. So, the customer got a guitar, right? The neck was roasted, right? And he also wanted the fretboard roasted maple. Yeah, well, the customer got the guitar, right? The fretboard? Pale as fucking shit. It's as pale as a motherfucking Irish ginger. Not being racist. Most Irishes are pretty pale, especially gingers. Customer says, "Hey, uh, Jeff, uh, this port uh, looks a little light, bro. You think you could, uh, you know, maybe you think you could work something out?" And of course, Jeff Kiesel, being the customer service award winner for 19 years in a row, you know, you know what Jeff tells the customer? No, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's what Jeff says. He tells him to go fuck yourself. Does this surprise me? No, Jeff's fucking asshole. But no, like I said before, Uncle Booker's tried to warn you to stop buying guitars from this motherfucker. It's the same guy who doesn't even play guitar. You're buying guitars from someone who doesn't even fucking play guitar! Is that a fucking good idea? You think I would want to take cooking advice from someone who's ultra skinny and doesn't fucking eat? No! Yeah, mm-hmm. Same motherfucker, Jeff Kiesel, who doesn't dry out his wood properly and fucking beetle eggs burrowed out. Well, not the eggs. Actual beetles burrowed out of the fucking guitar. Yeah! Y'all didn't know about that, huh? Yeah, because he covered that up. Just like all this shit that's been going down in the Kiesel group right now. Kiesel's on fucking fire right now. Like, not good fire. Like, bad fire. Everyone's mutinying him in, in the Kiesel group. It's actually really great. And if you see the picture side by side of, of, of this board... So the neck is like super dark brown, right? And the actual fretboard, it's pale. It looks like normal maple, right? Yeah, normal fucking maple. Jeff didn't roast that that fretboard. He didn't. I'm telling you exactly what he did. They roasted the neck, they slapped the fretboard on, and then after they were done, they're like, oops, we fucked up. Fuck it, send it to him anyway. I'm Jeff Keaton. They'll suck my big old dick. And he has done that countless times. How about the five and six thousand dollar K series guitars, which is fucking ridiculous to pay that much for fucking Kiesel, that Jeff himself has worked on, that has been sent out, been absolutely fucked up. Like the stupidest fucking mistakes in these things, and Jeff won't fucking fix it. These are guitars he fucked up, and he won't fix them because he thinks he, you know, no, dude, that's the way you ordered it. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you, Jeff. What about stealing parts off of a customer's guitar because they needed it for an AM guitar and not telling a customer? This is also the same guy, Jeff Kiesel, right? The Kieselnator. Jeffy K, Jeffy Kiesel, the Kieselnator. This is the same guy that when he had an artist 
that was on Kiesel, right? Well, actually, it was carving back when it was good. The artist is on tour, goes to pick up his guitars from the factory. Jeff corners him in a corner, says, hey, man, how about you, we do a shootout between the Kiesel pickups and your signature pickups? Jeff wanted him to shoot out his pickups because he wanted Kiesel to, he wanted the artist to use the Kiesel pickups, right? Instead of his signature pickups that he likes, that he has a contract on there, Jeff wanted to force him to use his shitty fucking pickups. And it's not a good pickup, I guess it's some shitty fucking pickups. But no. What do you think the artist did? He freaked out and he got crazy and he ended up leaving Carvin. That was actually a great job for him because um, that was actually very smart. He was ahead of the curve. Unlike a bunch of you fucking idiots who keep giving this man money. Stop giving this man money, okay? His finishes are garbage. His face is whack. His tattoos, whack. His race cars, whack. But no, y'all want to keep giving him money. He has constantly fucked up guitars in the past. He can't finish a guitar. It, have you ever even played a Kiesel? They're absolutely fucking dead. They, they feel just like planks of wood that I've cut together. They're, they're the most, like, soulless guitars out there, seriously. Like, go buy yourself a fucking Ibanez Geo, alright? At least you know what you're fucking getting with that. And God, don't get me started on these finishes. Like, he put out a guitar the other day that had this silver spiral going through it. Like, seriously, like, you're gonna fucking rip off the Jeff, the Jeff Wild, the Zach Wild, like, guitar bullet, bullseye finish on a fucking guitar, but you're gonna put it silver, Jeff? For fuck's sake. God, these guitars are so ugly. What, some of the most ugly guitars I've ever seen in the world have been fucking Kiesel's, like, like, like stop like you have so much proof you have so much proof that Kizo is garbage that he treats his customers like garbage he fucks up orders on purpose there's this one time a customer got a completely different guitar than what they ordered completely fucking different he's gotten the colors wrong people have been simps and be like oh it's cool Jeff I'm gonna take it yeah stop being a fucking simp for Kizo because he doesn't fucking care about you because once he has your money you're not getting it fucking back you idiots but no 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 you are gonna keep giving it to him, aren't you? You're gonna take your stimulus check, you're gonna order yourself a watermelon, jizz burst, fucking Kiesel, and it's gonna come in absolutely wrong. You're gonna get a jizz burst, he's gonna put the jizz burst blue, and you order a watermelon, and it's gonna come in fucking, I don't know, fucking aqua? Yeah, because he doesn't care, alright? Once he has your money, he's gonna make you into a fucking simp. And too many of y'all worship him. So stop riding Je Jeff's micro tiny penis. Stand up for yourself and order an actual good guitar. Like a Bernie Rico fucking junior. Those things fucking slay. Alright guys. I've had enough. I'm, fuck I'm fucking done. I'm hungry. I need to go do my yoga so I don't turn into a fat fuck. I'm out. Peace.